So, what Roblox character would most likely be a serial killer? Now, I know that's kind of a stupid question, but hear me out. Hear me out. I've been thinking a lot about this recently after playing a game that I'll talk about later. I have like legitimately no script or anything for this video. I'm just winging it. Just hanging my balls up high. I honestly have no idea what I'm getting into right now, but I hope it's going to go well. Now the definition of a serial killer is a person who commits a series of murders, often with no apparent motive, and typically following a characteristic, predictable behavior pattern. Man, that was really hard to say. Now, some known serial killers are like Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, yeah, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah, that works. Now, if I have to explain what Roblox is, why the hell are you even watching this video? Like, go spend time with your family or something. Alright, we can stop with the Vsauce music. Okay, let's get us started. So basically, I want to start off with the noob, because the noob is probably the most, like, well-known character outside of maybe the bacon hair when it comes to Roblox. Like, when you think of Roblox, you think of the noob. So I think it's deserving that I put him first. Now, when I thought about the noob, I really dug deep. He's very generic. He's like the default skin in Fortnite, you know what I mean? When I first thought of the noob, I thought of him as very innocent, very just dumb and brainless. So I don't think he's going to be very high up, but there is one thing when I was researching, which yes, I did actually do a little bit of research, don't judge me. Do you remember the Living Life in the Life of a Noob song? Living life in the life of a noob, I rarely use my gun. I never really thought about anything. I thought it was just a stupid song, but there's one lyric in the song that made me question the motives of the noob. Now you'll notice that he has a gun, and he'll sometimes rarely pull it out. Now yes, it is rarely, so maybe it's used in the case of self-defense. Or what if he just kills people like a serial killer with that gun that he rarely pulls out? Maybe they were lying, saying, oh, I rarely pull it out, to make it seem like it's like for self-defense, but really he pulls it out more because he's a serial killer. But I think that's- I'm kind of pulling that out of my ass. So I'm gonna- I'm just gonna put him for the- on the probably not. Alright, coming up next, we got the bacon hair. Also very iconic. Now the bacon hair is kind of the sole reason why I'm making this video. There's this game on Roblox called Bacon. Now it's not spelt like the regular bacon that you eat for breakfast or what you call the cops after getting pulled over. It's spelt B-A-K-O-N instead of C. And it's a horror game. You might be thinking, well, it's just a regular Roblox game. Well, you gotta think of it in the terms of lore, okay? What if the bacon hair is just a facade? What if bacon is actually the real bacon hair? He also gives off that vibe of just, man, I wanna kill some people. And for that reason, I'm putting him in the probably. Because I'm just assuming with the whole bacon thing, maybe that's his twin brother. I would put him in the serial killer if I knew 100%. Next one we got the female companion for the bacon hair. We got the female bacon hair. Now she also looks a lot more innocent. The only reason why I could maybe think that she's a serial killer is that they're an evil couple and that they do things together. Out of all these other characters, I feel like she's a lot more underrated, but I do see her a lot when playing. And to be honest, I found nothing that could uh, give her probable cause for being a serial killer. Outside of the assumption that maybe she goes out killing people and going on killing sprees with bacon hair or, or helps him out with killing people. So for that, I'm going to place her in the maybe. Next up, we got the guests. Now, the guests, I think, have been deleted from Roblox. I don't even think you can play as them anymore. Now, look at the guests. Now, really get a good look at them and just really scan them out. In my eyes, they seem like a serial killer. I can't really pinpoint it, but especially the one on the left, man, that hat. Something about that hat. To be honest, I have no reason for this. This is all an assumption. Like, the other ones, I kind of had reasons and to back me up for. This one, I don't know. Actually, let me look up something on YouTube. Maybe I can find something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the guests are serial killers. Especially the one with the hat. I knew the one with the hat was suspicious. I knew it. I just knew it. Looking up on Google what Roblox guest 666 is, he's an old Roblox myth and creepypasta who was rumored to have admin commands in any games they joined, even ones without admin built in. And whenever a player hovered the mouse over a guest image when viewing game servers, their name used would appear as an evil guest instead of a friendly guest 
like it normally. Now using this knowledge, it seems to be like it is a creepypasta and not lore accurate, but I need more people in the serial killer category, and I think that's pretty damning evidence, so for that reason, I'm setting the guests in the serial killer category. Now the next few characters aren't as iconically known. I mean, most people are gonna know them, especially the ones that play Roblox. But these next characters are like the Mewtwo of Pokemon. The last ones that we just talked about were like the Charizard and Pikachu. Now we're talking about the Mewtwo. So with that being said, let's talk about Builderman. Now Builderman, I honestly have not much knowledge about. Builderman is apparently an inactive account of David Bazuki. Don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, I'm gonna be honest. And it was used to send a welcome message to new Roblox players, which makes a lot of sense. And that's kind of how I know him for. Another thing about Builderman apparently is that he bans a lot of hackers, which is a very good and heroic trait. So for this reason, I'm gonna say that Builderman is definitely not a serial killer. And quite frankly, is someone you want on your side. Now next up is a character also not as well known, but if you played Roblox on the Xbox, you will know him very well, and that's John. Now I know that there's a lot of default Roblox avatars on the Xbox, but I think John, to my knowledge, is the most iconic, the most known out of the other ones, so I'm just going to use him as an example. I could have talked about the other ones, but I can care less, I don't have enough time for that. So let's talk about John. Now John, just from the looks of him, just looks like a very generic laid-back gamer guy it looks like he just plays a lot of video games and john doesn't really seem like he has that much going for him but i want to say i'm kind of suspicious of him he kind of gives me vibes from both sides like he, i feel like he would be a raging serial killer but at the same time i feel like he just stays at home in his mom's basement plays video games and eats potato chips and doritos and drinks mountain dew so to be honest i have no idea what to say about john I'm just gonna place him in the I don't know section because honestly, I have no idea where to place him. I don't know that much about him. I literally looked him up on Google all over the place. It was just saying that it was just a character that you can play with on the Roblox thing. So, you know, just, just roll with that, I guess. Let's just go to the next one. Being a very, very iconic Roblox YouTuber, Dennis Daly. And I had no suspicion whatsoever of him being a serial killer. But then I did some more research and I changed my thoughts a little bit. June 7th, 2020, June 7th, 2023, Dennis Daly uploaded a video, The Truth About My Arrest. Now for context, he says in the video that it was just a photoshopped image, that he never went to prison, he was never arrested to begin with. But what if he actually did get arrested? What if he went to prison for serial killing? And to be honest, I wouldn't doubt it that much because he has a lot of videos based on murder mystery and stuff with him being a murderer. Now you might be saying those, those videos are just videos, but no, I think he's documenting what he's actually done in the real world. So for that reason, I'm gonna put him in the probably section because I don't know for certain, but I have some doubts that he's the angel that he claims to be. All right, next up, we got another not as famous YouTuber, but still very, very known Roblox YouTuber, and that is Flamingo. Now, judging by his Roblox avatar, I'm gonna stick him right up in the serial killer. I mean, look at that freaking character. He looks like a absolute serial killer. Now, judging by the real Flamingo, I mean, he's just a regular dude. He's kind of a strong Holy dude, fuck. but considering the fact that he made that his Roblox avatar leads me to believe that he, he's definitely a serial killer. He probably made his Roblox avatar to portray what he does in real life. Like, that's his way of revealing it without people really realizing, you know, is that's what he does on the side. For that reason, he's right next to the guests. Sure, there may not be enough evidence for it, but I mean, come on, does this face scream innocent to you? No, it doesn't. All right, next up, we got Nicholas, the murder mystery creator. Now, as a kid, when I played Roblox a lot more than I do now, I was, I, I would be playing murder mystery specifically too, all the time. I don't really know too much about Nicholas. I just knew that he just created a really amazing Roblox game. And he's definitely well known enough for me to put him on the list. Now, the main reason I put him on the list and what I wanted to talk about is the fact that he literally created the game Murder Mystery 2 and Murder Mystery. Now, who would create a game about murder outside of being a serial killer? I mean, come on. He literally put it in the title of the game. Now, I don't know what's going on with Nicholas. I haven't really heard about him in a long time. He might even be in prison for serial killing. I don't know. Who knows? But for this reason, I'm going to put him in the probably section. I think it's just very suspicious in the fact that he created Murder Mystery 2. I don't know. All right, and last but not least, 
I saved one of the scariest for last. This one used to genuinely kind of scare me as a kid. I, when I was play Roblox and hear about this character, I thought I was gonna get killed and hacked. John Doe. Without even explanation, I'm gonna put him in the serial killer category. And I think it's pretty obvious. John Doe, notoriously known to be a Roblox hacker. Now John Doe, you're a very mysterious lad, but you're not tricking me this time. You're definitely a serial killer. So yeah, this is my list. Um, I hope you enjoyed, but bye.